Hi, I'm Paul Schmutzler, president of the production firm Braintrust Digital. Today we're going to be looking at the G Technology G Doc EV with Thunderbolt, an expandable video storage solution. It's part of the new evolution series from G Technology. This video is sponsored by VideoGuys.com. The G Doc EV is sold in a bundle with two 1 terabyte G Drive EV drives. These drives can be docked in the G Doc or used as standalone USB drives. The compact box set comes complete with the power supply, the drives, and the G-Dock. Plus now through the end of March, VideoGuys.com has a promotion including two additional 1TB G-Drive EVs, so you'll receive a total of four drives. In addition, the G-Dock kit includes two USB 3 Superspeed cables, one for each of the two G-Drives, and a short Thunderbolt cable for the G-Dock. Once the SATA dust cover is removed, G-Drive EV modules can be docked into either opening of the G-Dock. The drive modules click into the G-Dock and the quick release button extends for easy release. With 1TB on each G-Drive module in RAID 0, you will have 2TB of total storage. Once you have the G-Drive modules in place, press the power button. When the G-Dock powers up, the indicator lights on the front of one or both G-Drive modules will glow. This is your indication it is safe to get up and move about the cabin. Just kidding. This is your indication that the G-Drive module is firmly engaged and ready to be used. Now connect the Thunderbolt cable from one Thunderbolt port to the computer. Then connect any other Thunderbolt or mini DisplayPort equipped device to the other Thunderbolt port on the rear of the G-Dock. Once the G-Dock is connected to your computer, the light on each G-Drive module will begin to pulse, indicating drive activity. If this is your first time using the G-Dock and G-Drive modules, it may be necessary to use Disk Utility to format the drives. Disk Utility is also helpful for creating a RAID 0 or 1 setting. RAID 0 stripes content across the drives, making the overall throughput much faster than a single drive. We tested the two 1TB G-Drive modules in a Disk Speed Test app. We used the 4GB file setting, and here are the results. You can see that the G-Drive EV modules combine together into RAID 0 in the G-Dock impressively achieve over 250 megabytes per second writes and reads. We also tested a single drive in the G-Dock to see what speed we would get out of a single drive or two drives in the RAID 1 mirrored configuration. Again, the results were impressive with the single G-Drive module yielding around 120 megabytes per second of throughput on both reads and writes. The G-Dock provides a software RAID setup via Apple's Disk Utility software, so this means the drives can be used in RAID 0 or 1 configurations outside of the G-Dock dock as well. For field work, this means you can connect both drives up to a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, and OS X will see the same RAID as it did when you use the G-Dock. You can also use the G-Drive modules in single drive configurations, such as how we have it set up here connected to a Mac Mini. Some people have asked how RAID 0 in the field using USB 3 compares to using RAID 0 in the G-Dock with Thunderbolt. We again used our disk speed test application with 4 gigabyte test blocks and were pleasantly surprised. There was less than 1 megabyte per second difference between the USB 3 and Thunderbolt RAID 0 configurations. RAID 0 for the G-Drives in 10-bit YUV422 meant we could read and write 2K up to 25 frames per second clearing every hurdle on the test except for 1080p 50 and 1080p 59.94 content. Now, if you plan to use these, don't forget to replace the SATA connector dust cover. One quick note about the SATA connector. Based on the configuration of the SATA and USB 3 SuperSpeak connectors on the back of the G-Drive module, there's clearly an offset SATA board inside the G-Drive. This means you can't just stick a standard bare SATA drive into the G-Dock slot if you're in the field. Yes, we tried it just in case, so you wouldn't have to. The standard SATA sits on the far left, but isn't quite in the same place as the G-Drive SATA connector. Fortunately, if you need a spare, they are available from this video's sponsor at videoguys.com. Okay, one last area, the look and feel of the G-Dock. We like the look of the G-Dock. It screams Mac-compatible product. To sit alongside your Mac Mini, iMac, or even the older style Mac Pro, and not be aesthetically out of sorts. Of course, it will work equally as well on any Thunderbolt-equipped Mac or PC. The G-Dock EV measures just under 8 inches long, 5 inches wide, and 3.5 and inches high. Okay, that's our review of the G-Dock EV, sponsored by VideoGuys.com. 
We hope you've enjoyed this BrainTrust Digital walkthrough of the GDoc EV 2TB expandable video storage solution. Videoguys.com is your source for streaming media and live production equipment, storage, and video editing hardware and software. We have specialized in video editing and production for more than 25 years, and our technicians are available to answer your questions and help you find the best solution for your needs and budget.